hello hello guys so it's dinner time with lisa i shared with you i would try to make a video some videos um kind of like a day in the life well this is night time it's dinner time i've used my hot logic to heat up my um, mac and cheese i got the mac and cheese right here i got it from aldi which they had marked it down to two dollars and 95 cent this is a pound <laughs> this heat and serve i don't think i eat a pound but I'll um, put it up, eat some more tomorrow for lunch tomorrow. But I'm in my car. I'm parked right now, right inside of the temp, mm, the outlet mall, where I'm at, in the in the outlet mall. Um, having dinner. I'm watching other people go to have dinner <laughs> at their respective restaurants and things. Um. I did have lunch today in Panera. I've been eating lunch quite a bit at Panera because that's why I've been stationing myself for my classes in child welfare. So, you know, I want to patronize wherever I stay. And they're keeping, you know, think about it. I'm not paying rent right now. I can at least purchase some items. And I got the Sip Unlimited. So I get unlimited lemonade. This is charred lemonade, which means it's um, caffeine in it, which is a plant-based caffeine i'm pretty sure it's green tea so i usually fill up before i leave and then i have my coffee and stuff and then i buy a meal so most of my meals on average at Panero about eight bucks they usually always give me a incentive for purchasing or being a part of the sip club or whatever two dollars off two dollars off so it's like eight to ten eight to nine dollars and most ten dollars and usually they give you a markdown on them on your bakery item. So if you got the app and you get the unlimited club, it's such a good deal. But some days I do go out to eat. And I don't feel guilty because I feel like if you are not paying what well, most people have to pay 30% of the income is from the living expenses. I do have to pay for this. I have a car payment, prayfully, it'll be done within the next 12 months, less than that. And I do have car insurance, so technically I do pay for where I'm living. But it's all, it would have been, had to be paid for it. I lived in an apartment or not. <laughs> so, with that said, it's good to know what places to go eat. And tomorrow night, I do believe Bonefish Grill has um, their um, bang bang trip for like, I forgot how much it is, but it's like really dirt cheap. It's a bar item. So I can sit the bar, eat main main shrimp, and enjoy myself, and get me a salad, you know, for lunch, and then have the main main shrimp in the evening, and try to spend no more than ten dollars a day. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because a lot of people want to know how do you cook, how do you do this. I do want to say, and my lighting is changing because the sun is setting. You do want to invest in, um, you want to invest in, like this little thing I got right here. Hot logic, best investment. They were like 50 bucks. They're not cheap, meaning that. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Well, let's put it this way they're worth every penny. They're worth every penny because I'm trying to make sure you can fix a whole meal in this thing. I also have a rice cooker I bought from Family Dollar for like 17 bucks. You can cook in a rice cooker. You can, I, I saw where my girl Shell living, um. Living green, cook um, egg rolls or something up in there. I was like, "What?" And I saw she had a crock pot too. But anyway, I got the rice cooker so you can I fix my noodles in there, ramen noodles. Because if you go to the noodle bars here, and then I mean I love noodle bars, I think they're cool. But they're like twelve bucks for noodles. Yeah, granted they are from a different the way they you know prep them everything. But most of the times it's like Americans will be cooking the ramen noodles, not like it's some Asian people in there. No disrespect. I like people to know their own food, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's see, I digress. But I'm not paying no $12 for a bowl of ramen noodles, unless it's like a pho, which is different. But no, I'll go and get me some ramen noodles. You can go to the Asian market and buy some and put them in your um, rice cooker. Get you some shrimp. Get you some seasonings, whatever you want to do. And boom, you got something. Now, like I said, I save money in so many different ways. 
a thrift store shop. <laughs> I have a gym membership. It's like $26 a month. And I can shower there. Um, at nighttime, I find a place that's quiet, meaning that there's people around, but it's quiet. I don't bother anybody. I don't trash up the place. I get in there, you know, pretty close to late. And I get up in the morning and get out of there. And I go to work. So if you live in some, like in your car, or van, or SUV, or you want to, don't be so, I call it cheap, but I ain't going to say cheap. Don't be so like, oh my God, I'm not going to give this and that. Because people got to pay for roads and highways. People living in their houses, apartments, whatever. You give back by one, working for the city. If you're going to be in the city or wherever you live in, make sure you're working or doing something that's going to contribute. And, 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 and go out to these restaurants and eat. You don't have to eat everything from your car. I mean, the lighting is really bad. I'm going to hold this up right here. I'm not going to 